as I have told you, we are going to take the vector portrait to the next level. And today we are going to do that and transform this image into something like this. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Explorian. I'm Didi and this channel is all about designing in Photoshop and sharing the process with you. And in the process, we'll discuss various tools, techniques and tips and tricks which will improve your workflow and level up your graphic design game. I've divided the making of this poster in two parts, otherwise the video will be too long and maybe a little bit overwhelming. In today's video, we'll be working on the image and create the effect and for the typography, I'll be making a separate video. First, we're gonna remove the background, then bring in the last used template and apply it on today's image. Make the necessary changes, then separate each colors and convert them into layers. Then we'll create la paper layer effect. Then colorize the portrait and lastly, add a shadow. So what are you waiting for? We have a lot of things to do. Let's not waste any more time and get started. We'll start off by creating our canvas. I will choose A4 size poster as usual. You can choose any poster size or canvas size you want and then bring in the image. And now we have to remove the background and for that I will be using the quick selection tool and click on select subject and then refine the selection. And then by applying the layer mask we will have our subject. Now for turning our subject into a vector portrait we can either create the effect from scratch. You can learn it by watching my last video or if you have already done that and have the photoshop file we can use that as a template and create the effect and for that we will open the file of our last poster and double click on this posterized layer and now select all these layers by holding the shift key and clicking on the topmost and the bottommost layer and just click and drag and drop onto our today's canvas depending on the configuration of the machine you are using this might take some time so have patience and wait for some time and then we will double click on the icon of the subject layer which is a smart object itself a new canvas will open we'll click and drag our today's image and drop onto the second canvas then we'll turn off the visibility of the original subject layer and resize the today's image to fit the canvas and then press ctrl or command s to save it and now when we go to our current canvas our subject is updated We'll turn off the visibility of the subject layer and then we have to make some changes starting with selecting both these subject layers and reposition it at the center of the canvas. And now we will fill this layer mask with white color for that. Since white is our foreground color, we will hold the control or command button and press delete to fill it with white. Then if needed, we will change some of the parameters with that. First, we will go to posterize layer and then lower the level. I will set it to 6. Then you can adjust the levels also to adjust the brightness and contrast. We don't have to touch the hue and saturation layer. And now we will select the layer mask, change the foreground color to black and grab the brush tool. Select a soft round brush and paint on these high areas to reveal the details from the subject layer beneath. Next, we're gonna select all these layers and press Ctrl or Command J to create a duplicate of them. And then press Ctrl or Command E to merge all these layers into a single one. And select the original ones and then convert it into a smart object. And then turn off the visibility of it and keep it for backup purpose. And the real work for creation of these effects starts from here. We're gonna select the poster as one layer which is the merged one and double click to open the layer style dialog box and work with the blend if slider which is the star of today's show. Since there is only a single layer and we don't have any underlying layers over here so we are going to work with this layer in the blend if slider. Look at it very carefully. I'll be holding the bright slider over here and bring it slowly towards the left side and if you can see at some point, one by one, the colors are going away. And when I bring it to the extreme left side, only the black color remains. And similarly, with the dark slider, if we go to the right side of our slider, one by one, the color is disappearing and only the white is remaining. If you remember, we have set six colors in our posterize adjustment layer. And now we are going to isolate those six colors separately. And how are we going to do that? Let me demonstrate. We'll open the layer style dialog box and hold the dark slider and bring it to the right. We'll set it to a point where only the white color is visible. 
We'll then press OK and now press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the layer and right click on the duplicate layer to convert it into a smart object. We'll rename the layer as 1 so that we don't get confused. We'll keep the visibility turned off for this layer and again go back to our poster as one layer and open the layer style dialog box and hold the dark slider once again and drag it to the left to a point where the next color is visible. And then hold the white slider or bright slider, whatever you may call it. We will also drag it to the left so that the white color now disappears. We'll hit OK and then press Ctrl or Command J to make a duplicate of it. And then convert it into a smart object and rename it as 2. And now if we turn off the visibility of the posterized 1 layer and turn on the visibility of layer 1 and 2, you can see only these two colors of the board. If you are finding it difficult to view on transparent background, you can always introduce a solid color adjustment layer and choose whatever color you want and place it below all the layers and now you can see it clearly. We'll follow the same procedure to isolate the four other colors we have in our portrait. And now if we turn off the visibility of the poster as one copy layer and turn on the visibility of all the six isolated color layers, we'll get the whole portrait. We'll turn off the visibility of the solid color adjustment layer or if you want, you can delete it, but we're gonna need that. So I'll be keeping it. If you observe carefully, there are some small hairline gaps in between these layers where the background is visible. To eliminate that, we will turn on the visibility of the poster as one layer and it's gone. The first step of creating the effect is done and now we will move on to the next step where we will be creating the actual layer effect. For that, we will select the layer 1 and double click on the blank space to open the layer style dialog box again and click on drop shadow. Make sure the checkbox here in the use global lights is turned on. And now we're going to play with these sliders to adjust the shadow. For the distance, we can adjust it from here or you can change in the slider also. Let's adjust the opacity a little bit and also the size. These parameters works for me. We have to apply this effect to all these six layers. And for that, let me show you a trick. We'll click on this effect and hold the order option key and drag it and just drop it on the next layer and the effect will be automatically applied to that layer also. Similarly, we will do the same for the rest of the layers. Here you can see there are some problems with our portrait, some shadow casting are outside the border of our portrait. So we'll take care of that in a minute. I will again turn on the visibility of the solid color adjustment layer we have introduced earlier and now we will click on the layer 1 and hold the shift key and click on the layer 6, press Ctrl or Command G to group them together and rename it as layers. Then we will add a layer mask to this group, grab the brush tool by pressing the B key which is the shortcut for the brush tool and keeping the foreground color black, we will paint over these areas to hide the shadows. There are still some areas which needs correction. If you can see, there is a white area visible. This is because of the posterized one copy layer and the posterized subject layer. So we will add a layer mask to the posterized subject layer and grab the brush tool again and hide it behind the mask. We'll also add a layer mask to the posterized one copy layer and keep on refining the mask till we are satisfied with our results.
and now in this step we are going to colorize the portrait for doing that we are going to add a solid color adjustment layer and change its color i'll be selecting a shade of teal you can choose whatever color suits you and next we're gonna clip this color fill layer to our layers group and change its blending mode to overlay i'll adjust the color a little bit you can also adjust the opacity of the color fill layer if you want I'll set it to around 80%. Next, I'm going to add a gradient adjustment layer. This window will open. I'll set the angle to zero degrees and then click here to open the gradient editor. I'll click here and change one color of the gradient to purple. I'll click here to select the second color and change its opacity to 100%. I'm not going to change the second color, which is white but i'm going to click here to add one more stop and then click here so that we can introduce another color in our gradient i will change its color to a lighter shade of purple i will hit ok and change its blend mode to soft light and then once again we are going to clip this gradient layer with our layers group let's do some fine tuning with the gradient layer i'll make the video a little bit faster here if you are confused or not getting it properly, you can slow down the video and see what I am doing. Okay, I am done with colorizing the portrait. And now we are going to turn on the visibility of the color fill layer we have added earlier and change its color to somewhat like white or off-white and now this is going to serve as our background and now we are going to hold the shift key and select these three layers take the move tool and hold the alt or option key and drag to resize our portrait holding the alt or option key will maintain the aspect ratio of our portrait and i'm going to place the portrait like this we'll again hold the shift key and click on gradient fill layer and then click on the posterize subject layer Press Ctrl or Command G to group them together and rename it as Subject Composite. And now we are in the last step where we will be adding a shadow. And for that we will select the color fill layer because we want to place the shadow just above the color fill layer. And grab the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse like this. I have selected the fill color as black and now convert the ellipse layer into a smart object. Then we go to filter, then blur and click on Gaussian blur and adjust the radius slider to give it an effect like this. And this part of our poster is done. As I've already told you at the starting, this is only a part of the whole video and I have given a similar effect to the typography of this poster which I will be discussing in the next video. Don't worry, you won't have to wait too long because I will be here very soon with the video. Hope you have found today's video interesting and if so, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And please do subscribe to the channel because